Hey everyone, welcome back to another Breaking Bad reaction. Today I'm going to be reacting to Season 5, Episode 4. I am just coming so quickly to the end of this amazing show. In the last episode, we saw Walt and Jesse and Mike find a new place to cook, thanks to Saul. It took him several attempts, but he, he finally found an arrangement where he came in after pest control people or I guess they do the uh, cook before and the pest control people are paid to uh, stay quiet and to not do any other illicit activities that they were doing before and um, Walt and Jesse a couple of couple of things I want to quickly touch on is Walt and Jesse were having a conversation about how Jesse's future with Andrea and that um, there was kind of an implied threat there which caused Jesse to break it off and Walt didn't seem to offer any sympathy whatsoever so I really don't like how in a way Jesse is not allowed to live his own life. Also the uh, the money thing at the end there with uh, Mike uh, divvying up the three piles and uh, taking quite a bit off the top for all the piles. Mike had explicitly asked Walt not to uh, be involved in the business aspect, but Walt uh, definitely was not following Mike's instructions there. And now I think Walt is um, Walt is thinking of uh, maybe not having Mike in the business, but we will see before we do that. However, if you are enjoying this content, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we have a Patreon where you can catch all of our full unedited reactions well before they come to YouTube. I gotta say, when he first brought her in, I had doubts. Rear wheel assembly took the brunt of the impact, so uh, CB shaft, boots, joints. Oh no, Walt's gonna have a big bill for this. Use an aftermarket. It's the only way we're keeping on the blue book and on the insurance company's dime, okay? Nothing beats free. <laughs> Didn't have to replace the windshield this time. <laughs> Hardest part was the paint. Fern green. Interesting tint. <laughs> People like to joke, really, really like this car. I'm betting you get another 200,000 miles on it. Wow, that's a lot of mileage. <laughs> oh, his Heisenberg hat. Hey, Benny, what would you give me for it? I mean, what will you pay me for this car? Well, I'm not really looking for... $100? $100? Insurance company just shelled out 1900 for the parts alone. It's a bargain. Oh. You give me 50 bucks, and she's all yours. 50 bucks? Are you crazy? He just wants to get rid of it. It seems whenever he puts on that hat, he takes the persona of Heisenberg. Wow. Oh my goodness, Skylar's gonna go nuts. <laughs> He got the Dodge Challenger? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Are they just test driving these? Wow, okay, so it looks like uh, Walt's doing some uh, finagling with car... with uh, dealerships. I don't know if he's going to be keeping those or if he's just test driving them, but we'll see. Oh, he's... Either this is a flashback or bike spared Lydia. I'm at work right now. I know. It's a heads up. You got visitors. Today? I mean... 30 seconds. Oh, that's that's today. Come in. It's Road Art Quail. Oh. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Schrader. How did Mike know that? What can I do for you? <laughs> Typical office gossip. Oh geez. There. The foreman. Lydia's ratting somebody else out. Anything to save herself? 
und von der Buchhaltung und sagen, wir können unsere Zielvorgaben nicht einhalten. What? <lacht> How soundproof are the, those walls? Front's done. Okay. No. Not okay. The, the look he just gave me was the very antithesis of okay. Breathe, Lydia. Ron was my guy. Pulled the barrels and drove the truck. You can't expect me to do that stuff. I mean, well, Mike let her live, so I don't think she has a choice. I'll send a new guy. Is that Skylar? Oh my god, she's gonna lose it. Oh my god, she's gonna lose it. Oh, jeez. Totally smoke. Horsepower is in everything. The experience of the driver, and please, I totally got please. you there. You. you drive like a geezer. <laughs> Can a geezer do donuts? I don't think so. Bullshit, you ever did donut. Oh. And yes, I did. Skylar looks like she wants to intervene, but. Oh, ouch. You don't approve. I don't want to see that. But mine <laughs> will call a birthday present to myself. <laughs> and Junior, people will just. Chalk that up as me being a softie. Wow. I didn't actually buy either one. They're both leases, so it all fits our story. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> he went uh, behind her back and against her uh, wishes there. He's getting the silent treatment again. We can afford it now. Oh, that's not what she wants to see. You're back at it. Make up that 600000 we lost. What do you think about boarding school? For who? For Junior? He's a year away from college. Why on earth would we do that? Now that kind of came out of nowhere. I was just thinking about the kids. Where are we sending our eight-month-old? Oh, geez, that's a shot. You know, a new environment might be good for them. What does that mean? An environment away from drugs and crime. What's wrong with their environment? Oh, no, Walt, don't go there. Nothing. Hmm. Skylar's really... Come, become submissive in the last few episodes, especially after she had that breakdown. She was more of a fighter before. But there's absolutely nothing for you to be afraid of anymore, okay? Clear sailing from here on out. Oh, right? sure. <laughs> like Skylar believes that. Speaking of which, my birthday. Oh, jeez. Oh, a little celebration might be good. A birthday party. <laughs> Walt must feel mm. like he's talking to himself at this point. Life is good, Skylar. Hmm. I don't think she feels the same way you do. Mm, thank you. Dad's bacon? That's okay, I can do it. No, no, mom, mom has to. I don't think she has to do anything. Well, it is sort of a tradition. Mm. Oh, okay. She spells his age. 51, wow. <laughs> That's a pretty small one. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a little picky. Ah, oh, now you're talking. <laughs> That's what you, you lose your bacon for that. Family teamwork, making sacrifices, very important. Yeah, it's some piece of work, isn't it? Six feet under and half a face, he's still screwing on us. Oh my God. This matter little thing seems hanging now, you know? Burgermeister, Meisterburger over here in Germany, 5,000 miles away, you got, you got this guy. It's gotta be someone in the, in the middle. <laughs> it's right under your nose, Hank. It always has been. What about that uh, Lydia, what's her name? You know, Lady Banjo eyes at the warehouse. <laughs> Hank is the absolute opposite of politically correct. But none of Fring's crew is talking to us. I mean, not a peep, no matter how hard we squeeze. Mm. Our money is on, on this guy, Michael Ehrman Trout. Can't even pronounce his name correctly. We're putting together a surveillance team as we speak. The other thing is, uh, Blue Meth is uh, making a bit of a comeback. Mm. Could be somebody's rebooting, using uh, Fring's former cooks to set up a new operation. Hank. I gotta say, your work here has been stellar. This office needs an ASAC, and I'm thinking we should be promoting from within. Oh. I have no doubt this DO would be well served with you at the helm. I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> Plus, you'd be overseeing every case in the office. You'd reassign all your day to days, Fring included. Oh, he doesn't want to reassign Fring. What do you say, Hank? He does not want to give up the Fring case. You want it? Well, considering my wife would murder me if I said no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I want it. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, that'll probably give him even more control over the Fring case. Hey, then. Hey. I'm guessing he doesn't get the birthday party he was expecting. So, what's the plan? Hank and Maria are on their way. Uh, roast chicken and potatoes and uh, chocolate cake. Oh, okay. She doesn't seem so enthusiastic about it, though. 
Well, with Hank and Marie coming, there should be some interesting discussion. I'm sure Hank will bring up his Heisenberg case again. I thought you'd be more jazzed. Hopefully, Walt uh, goes easy on the wine. What? No, I am. <laughs> been moping around the last few days. Oh, he's going to tell Hank about the affair that Skylar had with Ted. Marie, come on. I'm sorry, I I made a promise to someone. Who? Your brother-in-law. Are you going to give me a hint? It involved infidelity, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, that's more than a hint. Oh, shit. Oh, she thinks it's Walt that was, he thinks it's Walt that was cheating. Walt's second cell phone. Mm -hmm. Sorry, babe, but I was way ahead of you on this one. <laughs> no, you have no idea, Hank. Well, it wasn't Walt. Skyler? <laughs> Hank struggles with being wrong. No way. So much for keeping the secret, Marie. Hey. This should hey, be interesting. Hey, there you hey. go. I'm in the center lane, going about 60. What? So sweet. The highway Patrol is going to be sweet on it, too. <laughs> yeah, you'll help me out, right, Uncle yeah. Hank? Now that you run the DEA. Oh, yeah, for my spoiled rat car wash millionaire nephew. <laughs> Well, I'm out of here. Happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. I wonder what presents Walt got. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Hell of a couple cars there, Walt. For my next birthday, I'm going to take a page here from Walt and buy myself a jet plane. <laughs> oh, jeez. But with these new lease rates, I mean, they're mighty attractive. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Great dinner, Skylar. Mm. You have to tell me how you get all the lumps out. How do you do that? A potato ricer. Hmm. Trying to change the conversation, but it's still not, uh, still awkward. Do you know that almost exactly a year ago, I got my diagnosis? Yeah. It seems like longer, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's, uh... What is Skylar doing? The day after my 50th, with the cancer and surgery and Hank being shot, it's so many dark days. Well, it seems like, yeah, it does seem... Longer than a year, that's for sure. Marie's talking pillow. That. <laughs> that was way back in like episode three or four. Boy, I did not want to get any treatment. I think I was too scared. I don't know. I just wanted to quit. I mean, there were times when I was sure I was done for. But then someone would come through for me. God, and Skylar, I can't. Remember that first week of chemotherapy? At night on the bathroom floor? I don't think she's painted. She, Skylar's in her own world here. Skylar, she was right there, of course, putting wet washcloths on my forehead. Aw, that sounds sweet. This would go on and on, day after day. I think this is the last, not exactly what Skylar wants to hear. Felt it's the last nice thing she cool. wants to hear. I was just asking her if this could all be over. I just wanted it stopped. And... Skylar, isn't that freezing? <laughs> Hey ho, pool party. Wow. What are you doing, Skylar? Yeah. That's a great question. Hey, Sky, maybe it's time to get out now. What do you think? Skylar, Hank asked you a question. You need to get out. Skylar? She's gonna come up, right? Oh, this is kind of dark. Oh my god. Oh jeez, there was Walt. It's gotta be... Nope. Come on! How am I supposed to? <laughs> hey. Wait. 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 <clears throat> Who are you? I'm the I'm the guy. Who sent you? Who do you think? I'm asking you. Mike. What's his last name? Lady, I just got off a plane, a 900 mile drive back. Wow. Can we do this? The sooner it's done. Uh, Armin Trout. What does Jesse have to do? I wonder. Carbon Pick up the the meth. The methylamine or whatever. The one I raised from the inventory, so it has to be that one. Can you reach it? Like a forklift. Wait, 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 wait! It's the wrong one? What? Please tell me that's not what I think it is. Oh. We have a leak? Has anything like this ever happened before? No, of course not. She and I are having some issues. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I might have heard a little bit about that. Oh, jeez. Marie didn't go into details. She just, you know, said that you, you know, having some issues. <laughs> he just repeats it back. This is so awkward. So, uh, what's the next move? Be good to have her talk to someone. I mean, there's, uh, Marie's guy, uh, Dave. Not that Marie's an advertisement for advanced mental health. Or Ouch! 
God, Hank treats her terribly. She's going to try and get some sleep. What was that? I don't know. I mean, was she trying? Oh, I'm not in the swimming pool. And... She was definitely thinking about it. But uh, we both um, think that she should talk to someone. No, oh, she might not take that well. Listen, Walt, I, I can't help but sense that there may be some issues between you and Scott. Oh, you think? Our business, <laughs> of course. He knows. Any of it. He knows I know. What would be great is if you two had some space to work through this stuff and keep an open mind. Oh no, what is she going to say? What if we took the kids for a while? Oh. Look after them for a day or two. I don't think Walt likes that. I think the kids are what's keeping him and Skylar in somewhat of a functional situation. I, I just don't see how that's a solution. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Just the thing for both of you. This idea, was it yours? Actually, it was Skylar's. Oh! Oh, no! She really needs this wall. She wants to keep Walt away from the kids. I gave Marie bottles. He agreed to swing by tomorrow, pick up some clothes, and so voila. The kids are out of this environment. What a coincidence. I know you're awake. What was that about? Can you explain? Oh, she's not going to. I don't want the children here anymore. It isn't safe. It has never been more safe. Never been. A couple weeks ago, a man was coming to this house to kill us, to murder your entire family. It's over. It is not. You're right back in the meth business again. Now I'm running things. So wait, now that you're in charge, it's, it's, it's what? It's going to be smooth sailing from here on? Yeah, out? no, I don't think so. And nothing will ever impact you or the kids. You can't make that promise, Walt. Well, that Gus Frank is dead. No, there'll be other he people the out threat. there, I'm he sure. The danger. I thought you were the danger. <laughs> oh, ouch. Is that what your pool stunt was about? Trying to protect my children from me? Oh. There's blood on my hands, too. He's in the hospital because of me. No, it's not her fault. You did what you had to do to protect your family, and I'm sorry. Stop it, Walt. Just stop. I don't need to hear any of your bullshit rationales. I will not have my children living in a house, dealing drugs, and killing people shrugged off as shit happens. The kids stay away, and that's that. To a sleepover at their aunt and uncle's? We'll see. No, I'll tell you what happens. They come home to their parents who love- I swear to God, I won't have them back here. Oh, wow. This is going to create some problems. Oh. What are you gonna do to stop it? Whatever it takes. Everything in my power. Oh. Like, I mean, specifically. My next move is maybe I hurt myself. No. Put you in some inpatient facility while care of the kids. Oh. Myself, is that what you want? So then maybe I show up with bruises on my neck. Say that you beat me when you found out about my lover. I see. So you want to involve Ted? Oh, uh, well, that'll be fun, but not as much fun telling your 16 year old son that his father is a wife beater. Also, not a very good plan. What else you got? Skyler's out of ideas. Going to save our kids from this terrible environment. What are you going to do? I'm... This is a joke. Come on, Skyler. You want to take away my children? What's the plan? I don't know. This is the best I could come up with, okay? But you're right. It's a bad plan. I'm a coward. I can't go to the police. I can't stop laundering your money. I can't even keep you out of my bed. Oh, wow. All I can do is wait. Hold on. Bide my time. And wait. Wait for what? Wait for what? What are you waiting for? For the cancer to come back. Oh! Oh my god! Ouch. You didn't really say that, Skylar. I mean, I understand that she feels like she can't do anything, but <laughs> that was a low blow. But Walt definitely has... Oh, ouch. Oh, I don't need to see that. Yeah. Okay, just relax. I'm coming. Look at that. You tell me what that looks like. If the DEA's tracking her barrels, there goes our precursor connection. You're giving me heartburn. <laughs> Mike is just so calm about everything, even in the worst situations. Even by cop standards, this is sloppy. You didn't check any of the other barrels. You know, once we spotted it, she freaked out. I put the barrel back and we F.O. That was a long trip for nothing. Was it you or was it her? Lydia. She saw first. She's dead. What? 
Lydia planted this thing, not the cops. Mm. We will be taking our business elsewhere. Right after I leave her alone in a ditch. Oh, jeez. I mean, all we got to do is tell her to cut the crap and keep the methylamine coming. I had a chance to deal with this before, and I gave her a pass. Just like the drunk ab wife abuser. That's our precursor. We need her. Kid, if we have to ramp down for a while, so be it. Wait! wait. What if this really was the cops, you know? And what if you're wrong about her? I'm not wrong. Mike is never wrong. Now move away from me. This is a voting thing. I don't think so. I vote. It's a voting thing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what do you think? I think Walt's got other things on his mind. The methylamine keeps flowing no matter what. We are not ramping down. Oh, okay. Well, Walt's... Nothing stops this train. Walt's put his voice in. Nothing. Oh, that's Walt's vote. Hey, I just wanted to say I liked your idea. I think it's the way to go. I think you said it was your, your birthday, so. Oh, what did he get him? I left the receipt in the box oh, in case wow. small exchange. He got him a Rolex for his birthday? Hey. Holy cow. Happy birthday. That is so nice. I mean, I know Jesse's, the cash is flowing again, but that was still thoughtful. Jesse is way too nice to Walt. Junior is still asking what is going on, but everything's okay. There's going to be some more money coming in soon. Is that okay? Fine. He's definitely got her into submission now. You coming to bed? <laughs> That's a no. Oh, she's chain smoking now. Wow. Must be rough for Skylar. She's basically got no say in anything anymore. And she can't even... She has to send her kids away for his sake. She can't even... I want to show you something. Oh, the Rolex. Oh, she, he's just rubbing it in her face right now person who gave me this present wanted me dead too. Wow. Pointed a gun right between my eyes right here. He changed his mind about me, Skylar. And so will you. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I think Skylar is pretty... Skylar is pretty stubborn. And Jesse's, Jesse's a sweetheart. He's, he's too nice. That ticking is going to drive Wall crazy all night. Okay, so that's it. Wow, so lots of things going on in that episode. I'll start with Skylar and the fact that it appears that she is having, starting to have a mental breakdown, which is kind of unfortunate. She just, instead of, I mean, she's... She used to give the silent treatment, but now she's really silent and you can tell she's basically just broken at this point. She's a shell of herself, which is really sad. She was even contemplating, I mean, at Walt's birthday party in front of Hank and Marie, she was even thinking about ending things, which is really sad. And Walt knows that he, Walt knows that he has total control of her. He can do whatever she wants. He can do whatever he wants and she can't stop him. I'm starting to really dislike Walt as we get further and further into this. I've mostly supported him or tried to support him, um, but the turning point was what happened with Jane. And uh, now I dislike him a little bit more every episode. I also want to comment on Jesse's Rolex and the fact that Jesse, uh, Jesse is such a sweetheart. If only Jesse knew uh, what Walt did with Brock. Jesse had that opportunity. Jesse was right. He didn't know he was right. And then he never ended up shooting Walt. He just, he just couldn't bring himself to, especially after Gail. And now he, he and Walt are are good friends again. We'll see how long that lasts though. And I did want to make a comment about Mike. The fact that Mike, way back when Mike told Walt the story about wanting to kill somebody and never doing it, I think it was a, um, a drunk, an alcoholic man that was abusing his wife. Mike wanted to kill him. He never did. And then the man ended up killing his wife and how Mike regretted that. But he, ba I feel like he basically did the same thing. He repeated his mistake with Lydia. He had the opportunity to kill Lydia. He let her go. And now it looks like she is potentially going to be putting them in harm's way. If, if Mike is right and it is her that is putting the tracker on the barrels. Lydia is a very sneaky, uh, slippery 
person and uh, Mike probably should have taken care of business when he had the opportunity. So uh, we will see Walt and Skyler are kind of at... I, I don't know how to describe their relationship. It's a mess. Walt has total control and Skyler, there's really nothing... There's really nothing she can do. All of the love and integrity is completely gone from that relationship. And Hank, it looks like Hank is now being promoted, so he is going to have a lot more control over the whole Heisenberg, op the whole Heisenberg and Fring thing. Well, I guess it's Heisenberg now that Fring's gone, but Hank's going to have a lot more control over that. Things are getting really interesting uh, going down the wire. It uh, looks, I don't know if Walt and Jesse are going to, how long the partnership with Mike is going to continue, especially since Walt doesn't like Mike taking all of the, Mike's, I guess Walt doesn't like Mike's business methods and the fact that Walt is losing all of his profits. He's turning uh, greedy as well as egotistical and power hungry, so um, I have a feeling Walt's, Walt still has a ways to go. And we will see about that as we move on to the next episode, episode five. Um, and I will see you guys then.